Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Vite Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium against Morocco. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Jan Vertonghen starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's how Morocco will line up. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And now they get the ball rolling. Might be a chance here. There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. And Belgium get us moving again. A quick reply required after the disappointment of conceding. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. But he's gone short with it. Still work to do. Well, let's just see again how Hazard delivered this cross into such a good area. But then you have to ask what's going on with the defending. He's afforded far too much time, nowhere near enough pressure on him, and they're punished as a result. Go! 
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Vanaken. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Sofian Amrabat. Now, shot happy here. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Happy to take on the shot. Corner awarded. They take it short. Smuggled behind for another corner. Now sending is in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Just couldn't get it through. And given away. And he takes on the shot. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Tielemans. Lukaku. Now Azar. And still danger here. Well, they can bring it out now. And Nesiri. And take it away. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Throw into Belgium then. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Van Aken. Azar. He's in here. Well, fantastic reflex action. Munir. Crossing opportunity, makes the move to the inside. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. De Bruyne. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends, and all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. Very open, isn't it? An absolute joy to watch. Tielemans. And it's with Denier. An effective challenge. Yusuf and Nesiri. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Vanaken. Azar! Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again, and that's the perfect volley, isn't it? He strikes it so well. What an excellent finish. That 
is that for the first half here. Undeniable that Aidan Azar was influential in the first half. Stuart, interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. So they get the ball rolling once more here, and it's advantage Belgium after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Very quick thinking there. And Nesiri. In behind for him to chase. Real chance. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Good technique displayed. This could square the game. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And he's through here. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And Nesiri. Lukaku. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Carrasco. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Really good high press. Lukaku. Azar! In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. So, a personnel change then. Textbook interception. And a throw in forthcoming. Munir. Could reduce the deficit. He can't hold on to it. Well, they survived the attack. Fanaken. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. After that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And the emphasis is on creativity. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they could face difficulties here. Oh, great attacking play. And saved by the keeper. De Bruyne. Well, there it is, as expected. Belgium have controlled more of the ball so far and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that.
Lukaku. Shot attempted. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. And now here's Aiden Azar. Another classic example of how to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Carrasco and reading it absolutely superbly and space for them here on the flank that'll be a throw in for Belgium well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches And the final whistle, an acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view, a victory for them here. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Now the contribution in this game, Aidan Azar will be very proud of. How would you sum up his performance? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.